Hey Stacy, this is Brandon just sending over a short custom video for your business. Uh, I talked to Hannah this morning and she said you'd probably be the one checking this out. So I just wanted to go over three things that are going to help your company uh, bring in more eyes to your website. And then obviously with more eyes on your website, it's going to bring in more business. The three things that I'm going to go over are website content and keywords. Second thing is going to be uh, backlinks or excuse me, citations. And the last thing is going to be backlinks with referring domains. I go through these three things. Uh, I find them, you know, most people can handle these right from the office and make these improvements. And then uh, secondly, these are three things Google really looks at as far as how they place people in these searches. So first thing we look at is uh, is a web page, uh, the home page, right? Uh, Google likes to see at least 1500 words of content on a home page. And realistically, what you want to do is whatever service, because I know you guys do, you know, quite a bit of services, whatever services, you know, that you want to focus on the most, whether it be plumbing or um, HVAC, that should be your main page uh, focus uh, and a lot of good content, but more importantly, inside this content, what Google is really looking for is keyword phrases. OK, and what I mean by keyword phrases is uh, what is it that people are typing into that Google search bar that's ultimately going to get Google to point that person to your website. So if it's plumbing uh, or AC repair or you know furnace installation, um, HVAC repair, uh, all those keyword phrases, right? Uh, if I go up to your services, you got a lot, right? So any one of these services, take those keywords, but then also incorporate in that keyword phrase the service area you're looking to, you know, do your business in. So if you're really focusing on Edmund, then I would do HVAC repair Edmund, AC repair Edmund, uh, AC installation Edmund, uh, you know, and then if it's plumbing, obviously vice versa. And then I would have a page, you know, your service area pages, just like you have here. Uh, just more content on here. If I go to the Edmund page, you know, very little content. So this is where I would focus, you know, all my admin keyword phrases. Uh, same thing with all your other ones. Focus all, all your Oklahoma City keyword phrases. Really narrow it down with those keywords with the service area. Um, and that's going to help you get more recognized uh, for these keywords you're trying to to dominate. OK, second thing I do is I just did a couple of searches here. I did plumbing admin. Um, so this keyword phrase, I, I talk, type it in and there's three ways you can get on the front page of Google, right? You can pay for it be up here. Um, I think you guys know a little bit about that. Second way to do it is to get in what we call the map pack. OK, and I look for a, a Google business profile. They used to call it a, a GMB, a Google My Business profile. I couldn't find one on you guys. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is create a, a GMB or a GBP. And all you're doing is verifying with Google that you're a legitimate business. Right. So it takes five to 10 days to get that verification. Once you get it, you're going to take that information you gave to Google. And what I mean is your business name, address and phone number. And you're going to get into every directory you possibly can with that information. OK, every time that you do that, Google is going to give you what they call a citation. And this is really in your control. Whoever has the most citations gets into the map pack in that area. OK, so go out there and get into every directory you possibly can. All the Yelps, Angeles, Home Advisor, Thumbtacks, uh, BBBs, LinkedIn, social media profiles, any place you can possibly give that information, your business name, address and phone number. Uh, do it because it's it's only going to help you get into this map pack. OK, the third way you can be on the first page or front page of Google for a keyword search is to be ranked organically with your website. OK, so some of these people up here, you'll see them uh, on the map pack, but you won't see them down here organically and vice versa. You can be on the map pack and also be ranked organically. And that's the goal to be not only on the map pack, uh, but also ranked organically. And this is just a culmination of your website. Uh, you know keywords a lot of content pictures being taken correctly then it comes down to a backlink and referring domain profile and what i use to look at all that stuff is a tool called arefs anybody can use this tool there is a monthly fee to use it uh, but it's going to break your website down top to bottom inside and out so looking at this you need a good healthy backlink profile so what's a backlink first of all a backlink is any link you have out there on the web that if somebody clicks on it it brings them back to your website okay so more importantly, we want to make sure that the places we have those links are coming from good referring domains, powerful ones. And what I mean by that is they need to be out there and relevant to your business industry and customers needs. So if we got a bunch of backlinks out there that, you know, are out on Pizza Hut stuff, Google crawls these things and realizes that, hey, they're just stuffing links out there for for a nice portfolio and they're really not helping out their their industry or their customers. So you actually get dinged for that. You lose power. And it's not going to do you any favors okay it also shows me how many keywords you're getting picked up for 
Uh, a lot of people look at this and they say, well, I'm getting picked up for a lot of keywords. Well, I can click on this and, and see exactly what keywords you're getting picked up for. And what we want to do is really want to narrow it down to the buyer intent keywords that people are searching for. We want to stay away from the national keywords um, or keywords that, you know, really ain't going to produce customers. OK. And then the last thing it shows me is how much organic traffic is actually headed to your website monthly. All right. Now, it looks like you have started to do some, you know, some work on your website back in either late 2021 or early this year. Uh, so maybe it's just taken a little while to see the results because you do have a lot of backlinks and a good referring domain profile. Um, and obviously this stuff does take time to kick in and work. Um, but going back to this search, just so you can kind of see some of your uh, competition, that plumbing Edmonton, I just grabbed one of these top ranking companies here, this Hull Plumbing, plug them into AREFs and you can kind of see their profile here. Uh, biggest thing is the keywords are getting picked up from and then obviously when you get to this level get on the you know those those front pages or the top searches for uh, keywords you can see the amount of traffic they have coming into their website um, i also did uh that's the wrong one hvac repair edmund uh, and i just grabbed once again the top ranking company here obviously yelp's a uh a directory and i plugged them in there just so you can kind of see what this this guy here is doing uh the amount of backlinks and uh, and things like that so uh, once again, there's a lot of traffic to acquire here. Once you get to these top spots, like I said, it looks like you're you're starting to do some things uh, based on what AREFs is telling me. Um, but I would certainly just add more content and more buyer intent keywords. I think that's the biggest thing for you um, as far as your website's concerned. And then obviously get that Google business profile made. Uh, that's huge as well in showing trust with Google uh, that you're a legitimate business verified by them. Um, and then, you know, get in every directory so you can get on the map pack in your area. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. I look forward to hearing some feedback from you, whether it was, uh, whether it was good or bad or otherwise. Uh, please send it my way. Uh, in the meantime, Stacey, you take care.